Hello everyone, I'm Dixon Sylvan. In the previous video, we did an unboxing of the Tenmas Penstyle Digital Multimeter. If you had missed it, I will leave link of it in the description below. In this video, we are going to compare and explore the various functions of the Penstyle meter. Before me are three different meters, the Tenma 722595 multimeter, the Penstyle multimeter and the DT830D multimeter. First, let us put them to a resistance measurement test. It's quite hard to measure and at the same time hold the value in the Tenma 722595 multimeter. Now let us try the Chinese one and we don't have a hold option there. Okay, it's time for the pen style meter. You have to change it from the auto to resistance mode. You can also use the auto mode. Now I'm using the resistance mode. And here as you can see, it's very easy to use the whole option. And we have almost the same values in all the multimeters. Next we'll measure the capacitance. For this we'll have to swap the probes from here to here. Okay. Let's now place the probes in the leads of the capacitor. And since we don't have an auto ranging mode, I have to manually adjust in the 722595 multimeter. Okay, let's hold this value and we'll try the pen style multimeter now. I have switched to the capacitance mode, which is in auto detecting mode and we have easily obtained the capacitance value. Next, let's put these multimeters to a continuity test. Now it's time that we measure some voltage. The readings show that the voltage in the battery is around 6 volts. Let me grab the exact reading here and the pen style meter also reads the same. At last we have the EF function. The power to the junction box is now turned on and you can see a corresponding value change in the meter and as I move towards the junction box and turn on the switch you can see a sudden shift to 0.13 volts. We also have a test lead LED and a backlit for the display. Let's turn them both by pressing the backlit button over here. The test lead LED is in the front and you can see it's quite bright enough to see the components in the PCB. As you can see when I move around the point where we need to measure can be seen very easily using the test lead and this is a nice cool feature. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel 